Hey, Will here from PPC Coach. So how does print-on-demand work? Well, that is a very good question, and we're going to answer it right now. So let's watch, walk through each step so you know exactly how it works. First, we start with the design. So basically, you create a design, and the design is just an Im image file. That's it. That's all there is to it. You can do this yourself, or you can outsource this. The design is where it starts. Now, if you want to see so an example of some designs, I got some for you. So I'm going to go to my favorite print-on-demand supplier here, which is Gearbubble. And we can go to Shop. We can go to Top Sellers. And you'll see a bunch of examples of designs. So if I open this in a new tab, you'll see that this is the design. It says, Dear Dog Dad, thank you for being my daddy. Close that. Uh, some other guy was my dad. I'd piss on his shoes, chew up his wireless phone, and go find you. Love. And then they can customize it with a name, too. So you can put love. Uh, Rufus or whatever maybe. See? So pretty cool, right? So this is uh, design. This is just a text design in that case, but there are more intricate ones. Like here's one. Sold uh, 24,584 units, which is huge. So this is a, a necklace. In this case it says, to my son, um, as God loved his only begotten son, I will love, protect, and encourage you. Love, Dad. So this is a design uh, that they uploaded to Gearbubble. And they put it onto, in this case, a round pendant, and it works very well. So let's have a look at one more. Uh, here's another one to my daughter. And this one says, uh, this is very wordy, but, you know, it worked. Well, let's see how many sales it had. Well, they're not showing the sales, but we can tell it's between 14,000 and 24,000. So it says, to my daughter, uh, sometimes it's hard to find words to tell you. How much you mean to me, if I had to choose between loving you and breathing, I would use my last breath to say I love you. I'll always be there to love you and will always be there to support you. You'll always be my baby girl. So there you go. Corny, yes, but it works very well. And this was, I guess, a Christmas present that they were selling quite a few of. So there's a couple examples of designs that you can do, and they're very simple. And you just upload it to Gearbubble. That's step one of the process, though. You have to get your design made. So you can do it yourself. Um, some of those are pretty intricate. You might want to outsource it. You can go to places like Fiverr to do so. The design is where it starts, all right? Uh, the second part is the sales page, and that is the second step. So you basically take the design and you upload it to a print-on-demand company. So I already showed you basically three examples from Gearbubble, but um, if you have your own store or you're using platform, it's the same process. So what they'll do is take the design and they will create the mock-ups. And the mock-ups are basically, the product itself does not exist yet because you just have the design and nobody's bought it. So they haven't actually printed or shipped anything. So the mock-ups are what you use. That's what you market. And you market those mock-ups on the sales page, which is created for you by the print-on-demand company. Okay, in, the, in our example of Gearbubble, I'll show you again this, the actual mock-ups. So these are all mock-ups, right? This is a mock-up. This is a mock-up. That's a mock-up of a coffee mug. So the actual coffee mug itself, when that was when that was uploaded, it doesn't exist. And this is a sales page where they go. All right, let's move that over there. Now, you need to market it. So you need to get eyeballs on your products. So you have to market this. There's free ways to do this. I mean, you could certainly share it on social media. Maybe you have a big following on uh, Instagram or YouTube or wherever it may be, and you could broadcast that to them. Maybe you have an email list in a, in a certain niche that you want to send products to. That's fine. No problem there. Um, you can ask your friends to buy and share. And then there's also paid ways, which is like things like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google search ads, TikTok ads. And that is where you actually pay uh, per impression or per click. So anytime somebody sees your ads, you're paying like a couple pennies. Or if they click your ad, you're paying um, maybe... 30 cents or 29 cents or whatever it may be. It depends on the niche. But you have to get people looking at your products in order to make a sale. So that's another step in the process. That's basically the third step. And then finally, the fourth step is making a sale. So in this case, the customer does buy your product. Uh, the print-on-demand company now goes to work. So they will take their money. They'll start printing the product. They're going to ship the product. And they're going to do updates with the tracking number. So they'll actually send the tracking number to the person who bought so that person can see it. Now, if you're using a platform, then you would basically just withdraw your money from the platform. If you have your own store, then you're going to get paid up front. And now you have to pay the print-on-demand company for the product.
Okay, so the fourth step is where we all want to be, and this is where you can, where you actually make your money. So ideally, if you're using paid ads, you have to spend less on ads than you make in order to be profitable. So if you have a product that is costing you a lot to get a sale and it's just not um, profitable, then you might you got to tweak a lot of things in order to get it to profitability. Profitability. Now, the next step is customer service. This is the fifth step. So if you have your own store, it's on you. You have to update the tracking number. You have to answer questions. You have to process the refunds and returns. You have to handle complaints if there are any. Um, having your own store comes with a lot more responsibility because you have to do all that. Now, if you use a platform, they handle all the tracking updates. They handle the questions. They handle refunds and returns. And they handle all the complaints, if there are any, about the product. So you don't have to hear any of it. So you can just focus on creating products, marketing them, and making money. It's basically like outsourcing your customer service to a third party, except that third party is the same place where you're actually listing your product. So I prefer to use a platform because I don't like doing customer service, but I mean, that's up to you. So that is how it's, it works. I mean, it's a great business model. I've been doing it for years since, you know, forever it seems now, and it works very, very well. If it does, you know, sound awesome to you, it really is. If you want to learn more, visit my site, ppc-coach.com, subscribe to this channel, more is always coming, and join my free group. Go join it now. It's ppc-coach.com slash group. It's a Facebook group, but we talk a lot about print on demand using free and paid traffic methods, and I focus a lot on platforms on there. So I'd be happy to have you in there. Stay tuned for my next video. Have a great day and we will talk to you soon.